Welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at Blogly. Now I know that this only has one day left. We're looking at, uh, at the time of recording, it is September 19th, 2022. Um, there's 22 hours and 56 minutes at the time of recording this. So by the time this video gets out to you guys, you'll probably have around uh, 20, 21 hours left, something like that. Uh, we're going to try to get through this review quickly. Uh, I apologize that I didn't get this review out. I know this has been on the platform for uh, a few months. Um, uh, my first look at it, it was something that I wasn't that interested in. I know a lot of you have, um, go, went ahead and purchased this. You guys have seen that the deal was running out and it looked like a, something that you guys could use in your business. So you guys went ahead and purchased that. So I figured that anybody else is, that is on the fence, I can at least, uh, show you the tool a little bit more than just the, uh, two minute video that. AppSumo uh, creates for you. So we're going to go check it out. I'm going to forewarn you that it is, there's a lot of tools. I think it's a very advanced tool. And if you are managing writers and running uh, WordPress uh, sites, then this could be a great tool. Um, I think it's like click up and this site over here, I believe that they must have launched on AppSumo um, a couple years ago and they've had massive success these tools are really popular. Look, 25 million people are going to this site per month. So they blew up. Um, where is the part that, uh, let's see over here, Airtable. Okay, yeah, so there, here's all the tools that they compare themselves to, like Airtable. Um, so this is going to be a tool like that, Blogly, okay? So this is going to be a tool to manage uh, your websites okay so let's jump in AppSumo reviews real fast so it's looking like they have 93 reviews they're holding a four point maybe it looks like about a four point i wish it told us but you could see the dial i'll try to zoom in um in the editing if i can remember to but uh it's looking like there's a 4.6 4.7 out of 93 reviews that's really really good i like to go in here and just look and see uh so like this person i really want to like Blogly, but too buggy at the moment. Um, a lot of people, incredible product. Wow, this is an outstanding product. You know, mostly getting five tacos. Boom, just uh, mostly five tacos. This person's not understanding the um, intent of the tool. I'm gonna show you. Uh, you don't just copy their content and then publish your content. You do need to rewrite it. It's a research tool. So this person, that is not a very good way uh, you know drop a one taco review <laughs> and so forth so um, obviously 93 reviews mostly five star feedback i'm going to go over to the uh, plans and features and go over the um, AppSumo pricing um, again you guys only have one day so if you're on the fence just go ahead and pick it up if you are a an app uh pro member uh you can you'll have a couple more days uh to um to pick the tool up okay so you can scroll through here, unlimited articles on all plans, unlimited notes and library, editorial calendar, all that kind of good stuff. So you're going to get one owner account. So the big thing is going to be obviously portfolios, one website. So if you were managing one website, the single plan's fine. 20 research documents per month. Um, I'll try to, you know, dive in and show you the difference between the two. You can create content in here. You can manage different uh, contents. You can uh, analyze the, I mean, it does like what phrase does, but it also, I believe, has an AI writer in, in it as well. But then it's even more in, in advanced than that because you can manage your writers and workflows and everything in here. So it's a, it's a very uh, power packed, uh, advanced tool uh, publish 16 articles per month. So really, um, on this one, just looking at the deal right here, you're going to want to jump into the double. <clears throat> you don't want to limit yourself with the tool. You fall in love with the tool and you're going to, you know, publish more than 16 articles a month. Then you're just going to, you know, you're shooting yourself in the foot by not getting at least the double or multiple. looks like you can stack up to 10 codes right here. And just really, if that, if that's like your business and you need that, but I recommend double or higher on this one, guys, just looking at the stats and such, okay? And you can come over here, right here. There's a moderator right there. I don't see where they made an announcement. The CEO made an announcement or anything like that. Let's go jump into the tool right right quick. So this is what your outline is going to look like. Oh, wait, before we do that, sorry. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Blogly. We're going to go to pricing, go to their website. So their starter plan right here. Uh, 20 research documents a month. So you would start off with a $30 plan right here. 
and then you would um, if you moved into solo then you would be at the $59 a month plan and growth so this is one of those uh, tools that I think is going to be just looking at it I think it's going to be successful it's getting really good uh, ratings on Captera and so forth as well so I th I mean I'm just estimating looking at tools um, for a while now um, I think that this is going to be a pretty strong tool being that they got a hundred reviews um, on AppSumo they're leaving and the 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 platform and they're gonna do the right thing they're gonna go out and start getting monthly uh, memberships um, over here as well um, I don't know what this 12% sales commission uh, is I, honestly I don't really know what this what that means on here um, but anyways I would just uh, kind, kind of encourage you guys <clears throat> if this is a tool after I give the demo that you're interested in you want to go ahead and just go pick it up because there's only one day left um, right now, you know, you're not going to have a whole lot of time and the pricing is pretty steep on this tool. Um, you're going to be, be paying 60 bucks to a hundred bucks a month, or you can just go and get this and, and just do it for one time. So, um, let's go jump in. So you have a dashboard right here. Um, you can do social posts in here. I'm going to start off right away by going over here and going to the settings tab over here. And then we're going to go and look at the um, integrations. Uh, I don't know if a freelancer, if this is where you're going to actually put in the freelancers. Um, oh, this is if you're using the tool as a freelancer, because long story short, you're right over here. We actually can come over here and portfolio is where if you're a freelance writer um, selling your services on Upwork or you have your own uh, website or something, you can actually build a portfolio using this tool and then you'll have your own uh, website link to, to share and some of the writing uh, uh, writings that you you know do inside of Blogly, you'll be able to share a link that has, uh, you know, it links to a bunch of articles that you select that they can go and check out. So this is actually uh, a tool for people that are um, freelancers, freelance writers, or if you are a website management um, manager and you are hiring writers and want to manage them that way as well. Okay. So this tool, like kind of does everything. It really does. Um, so we're going to go over here and it looks like you can actually put your rate in here, right here. That's really cool. So we're going to go over here, integrations. You can connect this with Shopify, Ghost, Medium, Blogger. Uh, wow, they even uh, have this connected. Writing Assistant Tools, uh, Linguix, uh, WordTune, Grammarly. Um, so uh, I don't know if these are just <laughs> affiliate links right there, I think. But I think that these integrate. These must integrate with the tool as well. So if they're going to send you on your way over there, I mean, I guess um, may as well um, they have discounts worked out or something like that. Um, here's where all your connected services would be. And then social media, here's where, what they offer social media right now. So you have a Facebook page, Facebook group, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, so there's no Pinterest. Um, what other ones come to mind? TikTok, YouTube, uh, any of those things. But I mean, it does have a, a good, you know, it has, has four of the big, the big guys right there. So, um, this is where you would do the integrations and social media, because then when we go into the tool over here, and let's just say we go into content and we go to social media right here. Um, this is where if you created a new social media post, uh, looks like you can do multiple as well. You can actually go in here, add images. I like how they have this uh, connected where you can actually um, change the size and so forth. But then you can also go and get a link to um, uh, an image or they have Pixabay in here, right? So this is super cool. You can come in here, search for something and use that image, push OK. And then now you have your image and then you can put your text in here. They're going to have um, all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know if they have um, uh, hashtags, add hashtags right here. So let's just say marketing business. OK, um, I'm not. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on right there. Uh, we tried to add some hashtags, but um, anyways, maybe it's because we don't have uh, Instagram connected, so it's not going to let us do anything right there. But this is how you would do this, and you would schedule or post. Um, they have a scheduler inside of here for social media, um, time zone, and then you can actually set, set this to reoccurring and just have it recurring once a month um, or once every 60 days. So that's actually pretty darn cool. There's been a lot of social media tools that are just the social media tool itself that didn't offer reoccurring. Um, so, uh, 
that's cool. And inside of here, I'm sure there's some stuff that, uh, that I'm kind of missing on the social media end, but here's where you would select your service. You're going to have LinkedIn and Instagram, Facebook, all the stuff that you have connected right there. Um, but they have a pretty nice, um, social media tool, uh, built in. And this is just one small feature of the, um, the whole, uh, bloggly suite. Okay. Um, so that's really cool that you could actually do everything you need to do inside of here. Um, inside of the tool, you've got a lot of things you can do. So there's folders, here's blogs, and you would uh, set your URL right here. And then there's going to be directions on how to connect that. I'm not going to go into that in this um, particular review. Um, here's articles, we select new. Um, it's the generic term that is used to refer to any written content type, at least one block chapter must be in the article. Um, I've been testing out different uh, things in the tool. I'm going to go into rank IQ and grab this keyword right here. We'll go back into Bloggly and just throw this in and see what happens. Push OK. Now we have an article right here. Um, I'm going to say new. We can generate an outline. We can create blocks. We can import. I'm going to say generate. And that is also the keyword I'm going for, really. I'm going to say generate. So is this like an auto uh, outline generator? Let's see what ends up happening here. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's really cool. Okay. So it's, it's coming out with, um, why starting a craft business with no money is a great option. So it's give, just giving us a ton of different things that we can, um, that we can build our content around. So if we push plus right there, oh yeah, this is awesome. It's going to just create an outline for you. What are the best tools? It went out and just found, I mean, look at that. You could just literally just grab these right here, grab a couple down over here. If you need to create a quick outline, uh, you've got a mass, uh, just an extremely fast outline right here. Um, and I don't know, I actually, if I would have pushed the generate button, it might've just went ahead and, uh, done this for us, uh, right off the, the bat and it's automatically selected. But I mean, I would rather go in here and select what I want. So this is cool. Nice outline right here. looks like you are using some types of credits over here. I'm going to go back over here. I want to see like what the credit thing is all about. Um, you know, I don't see anything about credits. Um, I think that they do have, you know, they don't, they don't uh, address that. And I, and I, you guys know me, I don't like that. It doesn't look like they're okay right here. So heat map credits. I think that this is a, a, like a credits bank that you get per month. You can buy more credits inside the tool, but some of the things that they, they do inside the tool actually use credits. So just be aware of that. Um, okay. So now I'm going to say save to note and it's saved. And then we're going to come back over here. Um, now we have all these different, okay. We can load more of the article right here. So each one of these is called is basically called a block. I don't know what cell is. So uh, I'm just going to stop real quick because I did spend time in this tool before doing the review uh, because this is uh, there's a lot going on in this tool. Now it, it can get a little overwhelming, a little intimidating, just to be honest with you. There's I mean, we, we're only on the first uh, module here and there's a ton. There is a ton of stuff that you can do over here. Um, and so I just want to kind of give you guys that, like, there's going to be a learning curve. If you pick this up, it could be one of the most powerful tools that you've probably ever used. At the same time, there is going to be a learning curve. This is not going to be like brain work where you literally, it's the simplest, easiest workflow I've ever seen for creating an article. Um, there's going to be, this is just very, very advanced. And then there's also even just the, the management of all this. Um, like right here, I don't even know what cell means while. Wow. I mean, I guess I'll push it, um, sell your content. Okay. So you can actually sell your content inside of here and put price on it and everything. Wow. That's cool. Well, we'll go back. Okay. So that's what that means. If you're a freelancer or, or an agency, you're selling your content somehow, but, uh, publish right here, you're going to publish to WordPress and move forward right there. So that's cool. You can actually go in article right here, but we haven't written anything, right? So uh, what do we do if we want to write, uh, complete, if we completed one, you would mark that as complete, I guess. Um, oh, and then it turns green if you've completed it. So it does it by it. it um, this is an interesting thing. Uh, interesting concept. It, this is one article right here, but, um, it is, it is, um, separating everything by a block. So you write a block at a time. Um, 
but I'm trying to see how you like get in here. Okay. So here's the article and this is just a block inside of here. So why starting a craft business? Um, and then someone's going to, you're going to start going in here and writing generate content after cursor um, settings right here. You can put your topic in here. I'm going to put the topic in right there and the keyword and we're going to go with standard fine tune and then we need the first sentence right here. So Okay, and then we you can go in here. You can add images. I like the image feature pics of a video image. You can go in here and select images and stuff. So that's really cool that they built that in. I've got I've already got Grammarly installed. Um, and then I'm going to just see what happens right here with generate content after the cursor AI considers last sentence prior to con cursor. So I'm going to, Oh, it just, it's just for the end of a sentence here. Here's one tip and let's see what happens with the AI. Um, if you're looking for a way to start making money with your side hustle, crafting with no money may be perfect option for you. Uh, crafting with no money is a great way to start, uh, get started because it doesn't require a lot of upfront investment. All you need is some creativity. And, um, so that's, that's decent. Um, and then while they're writing in here, but we do need an outline. Um, I mean, I guess we already have the outline. This is just an interesting way of doing this. Um, you're going to just be focusing on right here, but if you need, um, if you need some, I thought there was a button over here. We're going to get it, uh, in the next, module, I think where it's going to help us, um, with writing. But like I said, you can come over here and imagine if your writers were in here and they were putting in, they were just doing one at a time over here and then you can just push save. I don't know what this is over here. I'm going to go to another page. Okay. So these are, this is, um, basically how they, uh, want writers to write. Um, this is apparently, you take one little mini chunk of article at a time and then you just move to the next one. And then now you're on what the best tools are, right? So now we're going to go into what the best tools are and then you're going to move to the next block. Okay. So that's how you would do, you would continue with the writing. Obviously if you're, if they're in this block over here and they're done, you would just say col uh, complete and come back over here. It's going to change green. And so you can really dive in on, an, on the most granular level in this tool is basically what's happening. The most granular of levels, you're going to be able to uh, write each um, headline or each H2 inside of an article is going to get like a lot of attention. Okay. So that's how they do that. Let's move to the next tools workflow, customize your workflow. So this is where if you have a workflow, right, we have research, writing, editing, proofreading, they have one that's like a standard right here. Um, let's see collaborators. Here's where you would this isn't okay. I don't know if this is where you manage the collaborator collaborators, but uh, there's no button to add any right there. It's probably another button where we actually go and do that admin access so forth. Right? So that is really cool. You can manage workflows. Um, that's really neat. You can customize the workflow. SEO, um, is going to be the same tab right here. So a focus keyword right here. Um, and then recommended topics, uh, manage the SEO, manage recommended topics. All right. So, I mean, I'm just not going to have time to go through the entire tool. Um, this just, it, like I said, this goes way into depth right here. We can really, really dive in on this. Uh, now it's going to go and do some, I don't know if it's going out and getting SERP results right now or what, but this is, um, let me pause the video real quick. Okay. We're back. So after analyzing um, and pushing the SEO button, then it's going to say, um, the relevance, um, it's distributed and suggested. So it's actually suggesting that you put this in your content 10 plus times. Uh, we can import this. Uh, okay. So we're going to move forward. So here's the SEO and so forth, right? So I'm going to come back. And when does this come back to a place where we're actually being able to see this inside the tool? I'm going to come through here real quick. Um, while we're in here, I'm not seeing the, SEO feature, but I, I, I'm sure I'm missing it guys. You can create a new block as you're writing. If you need to, you can go into just a blank mode right there. Um, if this stuff distracts you and so forth. Okay. Uh, but I'm not seeing where the SEO features are, um, in here, but we're going to go back out. Oh, wait, one, what, what, what was that? Okay. So I'm going to come back in all this over here. 
the AI assistance. Okay. <laughs> the assets. Um, so the AI assistance, uh, we're going to open this up. Okay. There we go, guys. Sorry. So this is uh, actually a perfect example for you guys, right? So I've been in the tool for 30 minutes or, or more. I even was in the tool before and it's just very complex. You can miss things. Uh, it's not, it's not as intuitive. Um, I had to, I'm kind of hunting for things. It's definitely a very advanced tool, not taking anything away from the tool, but it is very, very complex. If you're wanting simplicity, this is not going to be the tool for you. But if you're wanting a massive pa uh, power packed tool um, that you don't mind, you know, really learning um, how, because I mean, just think about it. The way I look about it, look at it as well as if I'm going to be training riders, this could, this is confusing for me right now a little bit. Um, training a team of 10 riders coming in here, uh, it's, there's going to be a big learning curve. You're probably going to need to put a, put them through an entire video training in order to just get them on, on board. But anyways, um, enough said about that. We're in here with the writing assistance. You can go with headlines, press reliefs, intro, content blurb, um, write blog like Seth Godin, summarizer, blog paragraph, um, video script, uh, create video script to promote your niche business. Um, some really cool stuff. Kind of want to just look at that real quick. That's really cool. Um, blog paragraph. So I put the title in there and it came up with this in our modern world. Many people can spend their in income creating things that they will never need. Um, I was a bit, I was a bit of a hippie in the, in my youth and didn't mind spending money on craft items like books. Uh, if I had started a small crafts business, uh, that's actually really cool. It's getting a little bit personal uh, as well. So um, I like that, that it actually did that. So more like this, you can regenerate this. Um, you can bookmark this trash or you can move this over and there's your article for the first part, right? So then what would you do? You would move over to maybe the next section over here. Um, we're going to save our changes. So there's a lot going on, right? Because then now we're in the next section. We have that on that section. And then we have what um, what business does your hobby or interest need? Um, uh, I don't know why it gets cut off right there. I don't really like how it gets cut off because I want to use this. There we go. Copy. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to throw that in and just see what it comes up with for us right here. So uh, this is how you would use the blog, you know, like the, just the generation, start your own business um, right here. And then you would just move that over. Right. So, um, so that's really, really cool using the, I'm going to push save and we'll go back over here. And then if we don't want to use this anymore, we can push this and come back over here. So it uh, looks like they have a lot of different, um, things that you can come up with over here, listicle post paragraph headlines, uh, and so forth. So, uh, really cool, uh, how they built that in right there. I like that. Um, we have assets over here. Um, and if you click on the assets, then the tools on the left side are going to change now. Um, video notes, research. I think the video notes might, um, oh, if you're making a video note for the article. So it, like I said, if you're getting to a point where you are really creating like the best content on earth and you really need to dive in here and you're even going to do a video note of something, or maybe even the writer is going to do a video note going over um, some questions right here, then this is where the assets are going to come in notes, library template. See, there's one of the uh, pictures that has been added so far links versions and your research. So this is where you can go and do more research. I mean, the, it just keeps going guys. It just keeps going full article preview. Um, so we can actually look at the full article preview right here. This is where we're at right now, uh, right on here on the left side. And let's go back over here and look at what else collaboration, um, individual chat. You can chat with people. You can have a team chat right here. So if you're chatting with just the writer, but then you want also the editor and everyone else, then you would be able to chat with them right there. Um, feedback and issues. Let's see issues active, active only. Um, okay. So we're going to keep moving on because this is going to be the longest video on earth. If I just continue to stay inside the tool, um, assets. Um, yeah. So here's all that research and stuff that you can continue. Here's the, an AI assistance. If you just want to um, use this, um, the AI assistance. Now, I don't know how much um, AI content you get. I don't know if they specified it over here. Unlimited articles, unlimited notes and library. Um, 
I don't see where there's a limit on the AI. They have not addressed that, guys. So I don't like that. You guys know that. I don't see how much. So these are questions from literally, um, did they take away the questions? I've noticed that lately, guys, that the actual when this was posted has been taken away on some pages and some pages not. I, I real, There's just something really fishy going on, guys, um, with AppSumo because we can't see when this was actually published. But um, I'm going to come over here. Uh, I don't see where they specify um, how much AI you get. Okay, so I, that's, I'm just going to move past that. So that's, that's unfortunate. I'm not able to. It doesn't even say it on the, on the page, on the uh, AppSumo page. Um, so, yeah. Plagiarism. There's a plagiarism audit uh, in here as well. Feedback. Social media uh, right here. So uh, that's the tool, um, you know. I could have spent another 30 minutes going through here, um, but I think that you guys have seen enough. And then when we come back, I'm going to go back over here and maybe we can go and look at, uh, I want to go back to the navigation bar. Okay. So we finally made it out. Woo. So for me personally, I mean, it's like I went and and I literally dove in the water and I had a hard time coming back up to surface, if you will, because when we dove into each one of these tools, it took us into multiple layers of things going on. Um, and then to finally make it back out to this page right here, you know, head above water, um, that was, it was, it's kind of a little bit of a challenge. Um, so that was the Blogly demo. Um, so I'm going to go over Blogly over overall thoughts just from myself. <clears throat> Navigation. So you could come over here and they have a, I mean, <clears throat> Okay. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to go into my final thoughts. Okay. So do I think this tool is, uh, is, is worth picking up? Uh, I do think that this world, this tool is, it is an amazing tool. I think it's going to have a lot to offer the right person. You have to do, you have to know if this tool, like you're going to know after di like looking at this, uh, if this is just, wow, I am blown away that I recommend absolutely going and getting this product and, and maxing it out as much as you can on the tiers if this is something that you absolutely like, if this is your livelihood and you make money writing um, or managing WordPress blogs and creating content and having writers and just the whole works, then this tool is definitely probably for you. Right. And I would recommend not going any less than the double. And you're going to know um, based on how big your teams are, uh, which one you need to get. Um, I do think, like I said, when I went back over to the site, I do think that this is going to be a successful platform like all the other ones down here. Monday, um, you know, Trello, Airtable, Notion, Basecamp, all these ones over here. I think it's going to be a big tool. I think it's going to be around for a long time. They've obviously put a ton of time and effort and money into this tool. Um, so this is not a, uh, you know, fly by night, you know, in six months, this tool is, is nothing. Um, I like how you can see what's going on over here. This, this, uh, top level, you know, if you're like the main, the main manager of the account or something, you can come in here and just see kind of what's going on. And you can even look at it from a week and today and create your team right there. Um, you can use the AI writer assistance right here just to go out and write, um, you know, write a press release, press release right here. I'm just going to go and see what this interface looks like actually. So here's the test. Um, yep. It literally writes an introduction for you on the on the press release right there. You can push the plus um, more like this. It's going to give you even more information. So uh, really cool. Though, oh, there's one other feature I forgot to tell you. Um, so yeah, workspaces. Here's where you're going to manage workspace, my team, clients, uh, portfolios. This is where you're going to manage your own portfolio if you're selling content and you're a freelance writer. Um, calendar, you're going to be able to manage, uh, what's going on with ideas, open, closed, archives, canceled, uh, from the calendar right here, any unpublished, um, stuff right here. Like right now we have our example unpublished is right here. You can get a, a basic, um, information of what's going on right here. So you could really manage a team, uh, inside of a uh, blogly. Absolutely. Where was that place where I created it's under assets, I think. Okay. I wanted to show you this. So if you wanted to do um, training, so this is video notes, uh, notes right here, 
you could manage all the different trainings. And right here, like this is what this one looks like. I'm gonna turn my mic off and then we're gonna go check it out. I recorded this inside of Blogly and you can uh, make these, if you're grading an article and you need to make a video and that's the, just the fastest, best way to, um, to kind of get the information over to um, your writer, that would work. Or if you're just wanting to come up with some training videos for um, the onboarding process or something like that, this would work as well. So let's go check it out real quick. Record your screen and uh, yourself on camera. Uh, pretty cool. I can move this around and you can toggle the size, make this bigger. See right here. So there's different features and you can go smaller. You can change this to a different shape right there. Uh, you can flip the camera and so forth, right? So you can just set yourself over here and then you can actually go in and if you're talking, if you're looking at someone's, one of your teammates blog posts or something like that and you want to uh, go over some things um, that you would like them to change or anything like that. So this would be helpful in the team building process, <clears throat> the uh, meetings or rundown process um, and so forth. So, or even just training, you can actually, uh, when you have your, um, your new writers um, come into your team, right? You can actually come in here and have um, the training set up inside the dashboard here. So you won't have to send them to somewhere else. So um, that's actually pretty cool. And it will record the, the whole screen. We can go over here and, you know, click on some stuff. Here's rank IQ and so forth. Like I can sign in and show them um, what I need them to do or whatever. So 